big plays uh, in moments of the game that you know, allowed them to have success, and, and we didn't. That second quarter, you guys seem to gain the momentum. What, what happened after that to try to sort of sustain that momentum into the third? Uh, the, the, the second quarter was the way I would have liked to start out the game. You know, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make up for the poor start to the first 15 minutes by spotting the team the number one in the country at home. You know, four goals, going down four nothing. So proud of the way we uh, rallied and uh, you know, made it a game at halftime and continued into the second half. But it doesn't make up for uh, the start in the first 15 minutes. You get so much mileage out of your first midfield. I was amazed at how well they played all through all four quarters. And that's what they usually do? Yeah, you know, uh, you know we, we play a lot with our rope unit. So, uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, three midfields. So we have, uh, you know, that first midfield. You have that rope unit that plays an awful lot, you know, in transition on the defense bend wings. And then, you know, we have the second group that we sprinkle in there. So, uh, we have, uh, you know, some talented seniors and some older guys that have been a big part of our success recently. So, uh, in big games, you got to rely on them to make plays and, uh, you know, be on the field to help you, you know, win close games at the end. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776 We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Your final offensive possession and the turn of the Mike Prickness, if you don't mind, straight the aggression that the guys show, which I think you know, you know, towards the middle, you trying to get a high percentage chance. Well, I think we had a shot. I, I don't think, uh, I think that was a good look. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mind that. You know, uh, I was disappointed with some of the possessions earlier, uh, you know, in the game where we had poor shots and poor turnovers after 10 second possessions when we were in control and, and had the lead at times. So, uh, you know, at the end of the game, so great feed and you know, good catch and you know, just didn't uh, come up with uh, an opportunity on the doorstep. What's the mindset now uh, with regards to the uh, standards? <laughs> I don't know. We have a long bus ride home to the car so I don't know what the mindset is. We'll figure that out when uh, we wake up tomorrow. So we've got a, we got a lot of work ahead of us. And certainly, uh, you know, we have a lot of big games starting with uh, one at home and then one on the road. Uh, head into May. And, uh, at the end of the day, I told them you know, countless times, you know, in the fall, in the preseason, throughout the year, we start this game, halfway through this game, we got to take care of ourselves. We have to, we're in control. And uh, you know, uh, I didn't think that uh, we played as best as, as we could have today. You know, uh, uh, I know some guys played extremely well, but uh, you know, uh, I don't know if, if we all played our best and, uh, and if we all played collectively, you know, the, the same system that we needed to, uh, you know, to, get, a, to get a big win you know, against a very good team you know, on the road. When you were in control today, uh, was there anything different from that first 15 that you were implementing that four seven of those penalties? Which way? Offensively or defensively? defensively. Offensively. Defensively, I thought we did a good job of uh, playing the ball very well, understanding uh, you know our matchups, understanding uh, their personnel. So uh, you know, when we did that, uh, you know, we looked good. We were helping and supporting the ball. We were playing the ball extremely well, giving Max an opportunity to you know, make some good saves. So uh, defensively, uh, you know, that's what we want to see uh, every possession. Uh, offensively, when we when we move the ball, it doesn't get stuck in you know, our sticks, and uh, we have good spacing and pace. You know, uh, I, I like our team. I think uh, you know, both Coach Mitchell and Coach Gorman do a great job you know, all week, and, uh, and then all of a sudden we just maybe you know, uh, you know, have a little lapse you know, at times where uh, you know, when you play a good team, you, know, uh, you can't make a lot of mistakes. And we probably made too many mistakes. I think we turned the ball over more than they did. So when there was one more than they did, you know, in a one goal game, that one turnover, that one possession, that one failed clear, you know, uh, you know, gives them another opportunity to win a game and uh, it doesn't allow us to win a game. What's your impression of Connor Kelly from what you saw from the Best kid on the field. So he's a talented player. You know, he certainly made us pay. Four and four. You know, uh, you know wish we could have contained him a, a little bit more uh, in one goal game. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Appreciate it.